Hi guys, and welcome back to Small Park. Like I mentioned in the last video, we are really just, you know, chucking along and just trying to churn out as much as possible uh, before Planet Coaster 2 and we really want to finish this park. And I'm so lucky that I have all my evening free today and some time tomorrow as well where I have absolutely no plans except make some food, eat some food, uh, walk the dog, have a bit of sleep. <laughs> uh, so I really want to try and actually finish this wooden coaster area, both the station, the scening, like this, the scening, the scenery around it, and uh, the transfer track building and all those things. So that is what we're going to try and tackle. And I think there will be a lot of updates and it will most likely just be one video of me only doing this because I want to get it done. So I think first up, what I want to tackle is maybe just the station and try and make sure everything is right in there with lighting and that, you know, I fix this gap down here. So I'll work on the interior of the station and then um, probably just slowly start doing the outside. I can see right here as well. We don't want that. So I'll work on the inside because there's no lighting in here and there's not a lot of detailing going on. Not a big fan of these yellow lines. I'm going to cover those up as well. So yeah, maybe I could, you know, Pigeon try to cover this guy up. Ah, oh, yeah, the teddy bear there. Why did Pigeon put that there? Oh, that's funny. Maybe it's something he confiscated from, uh, from one of the riders or maybe someone dropped it and forgot it. I don't know. That's funny, Pigeon. I've never noticed that before. Um, but yeah, I want to try and do something. So the story of this coaster real quick to explain is that it's supposed to be, you know, this logging company came in uh, to the to the Schwarzwald, uh, the Black Forest or whatever in Germany, and they started cutting down a lot of trees. And obviously the, the wildlife living in the forest were really unhappy with that. So they, you know, because they're unhappy, they summoned this huge woodpecker which I built way back, like this is many years ago. And yeah, there's sea fighting because I don't think I can be bothered fixing it. Maybe I can, we'll see. But yeah, so the the, the woodpecker, the giant woodpecker is uh, has come to life. And, you know, as you're flying around, you're kind of pretending to be the giant woodpecker who is uh, hunting away the, 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 the loggers or what are they called, the people working for the logging company so there's a few gaps in the story here uh why are they using an old rundown building as their sawmill don't ask me that that's just theming that's just you know to make it cool if it was a shiny new building it wouldn't make much sense also i'm gonna delete this because the company wouldn't put up a uh a, a, a nest like that for birds when they clearly don't care about them um initially we had this basket here of uh not basket this this nest with huge woodpecker eggs i kind of want to place that somewhere else so initially we also only had the woodpecker here at the end you don't see it until the end but pigeon really liked it and he was like we should use it out front as well uh so you kind of get to see it when you're standing in line so we also have it here might remove it from the back side i don't i don't know yet we'll see but i will work a bit on the station and come back after that and I'm back and I think I finished uh, the station now so I added lots of clutter some windows ropes you know I it's it's a very fine balance to go from like having to build something woody like 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 wooden textures without it looking like western theme and I don't think I completely nailed it like it's a bit western theme but I'm okay with that because it is a wooden structure and it is a theme park after all so it can be a bit over themed but yeah basically I've just cluttered everything up I added lamps everywhere um so I've disabled all the lamps. Uh, let's just look at it at nighttime. I've disabled all the lamps and sunk in other lamps to give it the, the kind of glow I actually want. So we get this kind of warm glow instead. You still see the yellow uh, fall off glow from, from the oil lanterns, but I think it looks cozy and warm. And I love it from the outside, just peering in through the windows and seeing this orange warm place i hate these by the way i hate that we're also getting them in plan code 2 i'm sorry but they just suck and they ruined the immersion in the theme that aside i think it turned out pretty nice 
um, added some clutter over here, some shelves where people can stuff their stuff and <laughs> storage their stuff, I guess. I could have made them a bit bigger. Um, maybe I should go in and like delete like this. So for the ones that have backpacks, there's a bit more room for those. Make some slightly bigger ones as well. That'd be weird. Oh, shoot. Is that weird or does that kind of make sense? I think that kind of makes sense. Let's do it over here as well. Uh, just to, uh, oh, there we go. Just so there's some bigger spots for people with more stuff. <laughs> uh, well, we could actually do something crazy. We could keep this and just add, you know, one in here. But that is kind of crazy, isn't it? Make sure it's uh, far enough in like that. I don't know, I think that's kind of cool though. This always happens. I'm just supposed to show you guys stuff and then I get an idea and I just have to do it. Yeah, I think that turned out great to be fair. So there's some bigger rooms for people with bigger stuff or bigger backpacks. Yeah, I like that. Um, I should have made it random, God damn it! I should have made it this, that, whatever. <laughs> now it looks like I took two of them and copied them, but I didn't. I kind of did, but not in that way. Uh, anyways, I added some random clutter over here, an old whatever root system. Maybe the workers decided to hang that up and put a light on it. I don't know. Uh, just some random clutter. Decided to, it was like too open and I didn't want, you know, guests to go over and touch it. So I decided to uh, fence it off and I kind of like the look of that. So we're going with that. Yes. Random cow head as well, because we're not leaning into the Western theme, but we're leaning into the Western theme. Um, I finished off the stuff here behind the worker as well, the ride operator, added a door that leads into nowhere, but at the exit I also added a door here that leads into a box, which then theoretically, if I could be arsed, would lead in here, you know? Uh, those are the kind of details I would have loved to do if we're not in a time crunch. So yeah, Planko 2, I'll do that then. Oh. I need to fix this real quick. I'll fix that uh, before moving on. Then I added a cute sign that says Guten Flug, which means basically have a good flight. I need to fix these out here. But yeah, I didn't do a lot on the outsides. Oh yeah, by the way, I also added like a trench down here because I don't like seeing the green grass underneath it. I added a saw over there, just some small details. And then I started working on this, uh, I don't know, this place where you go under here. This was all bare before, so I added some bushes, some foliage, and I will continue doing all of that here. That just needs to be like foliage, basically, some rocks. Uh, I think I want to do rock work for most of this, so that when you go down here, you just get this rock facade. It's pretty nice, I think. And then, yeah, got to do foliage here as well. So I think the next thing I'll work on is the outside of the station, the perimeter around it, and this uh, trench here. And... Yeah, just to make sure that the stuff around the station is good and then we can slowly start working on all of this area, uh, probably this other area down here and then finish off with the transfer track and exit path here. I think that's going to be the stages and the small chunks or bites I want to chop it into. So uh, yeah, let me work a bit more and I will see you guys in a few hours. But for you guys, as always, it's like a second. So. I did a little work, as you can see, and uh, yeah, first of all, I want to say I changed the color of the coaster and the supports, and that took forever. That probably took 40 minutes because for some reason, not all of them were connected like this, so I had to separate the buildings, and yeah, it took a lot of time. Um, but I started working on this area out here. I used pebbles because I figured that would be easiest for the maintenance crew and the gardeners, whatever, to uh, maintain. Oh, I still didn't fix this over here. And also we got floating, we got floating supports there. That's really weird. Let's just fix that, fix that now while I remember it. Uh, 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 what is this? Why is that light there? Oh, right. 
because we have this one here. There we go. How is it on the other side? Awful. Let's just fix that too. There we go. Hashtag fixed. That's good. Um, but yeah, I use pebbles because that just made sense. Have some weeds growing up here where they try to cut down the bushes that are slowly taking over this area here, making it overgrown. So, you know, they are trying to cut them down, which is why there's like some dead stuff growing there. Um, I started some sort of maintenance path over here. Just added a door again for the narrative that this leads into an area where you can also go down there. Whatever. Um, and then we'll have an access path here that leads us to the road or however I want to do this. I just wanted to show at least here it's going to be a road. Um, and then I added this in here and this is by Mineral. And if you guys don't know Mineral or is not subscribed to him, please go do it. He is incredible. You probably heard both Gigism and Bro bro coaster guys talk about him and rave about him but he is really good and i talked about him in my last video as well because he dedicated a coffee shop to me and in his latest video he's going over through uh, over some of his like older projects that never really uh you know got finished and he never really showed them off that much and one of them was like a british uh jank park or at least a british park and it had these ruins in there and when i saw them i was like i love that and i feel sad that it's never gonna you know be part of something and i was like i need this so i asked him if he wanted to donate it because i knew exactly where i wanted it and i wanted to put it in here um it's not completely done i still want to add some trees here and yeah we'll see what else i'll come up with it but i really like it here as you come out from the station here you kind of get this idea that this was an old forest once that the logging company has just now completely destroyed and after they've taken down some of the trees uh this old ruin has you know popped uh, popped up or whatever and um yeah so that's basically what i did i didn't do much else and i need to stop flying around this much because we're all gonna get dizzy uh, I just did some of the rock work here a bit. Um, oh yeah, on Pigeon's Flat right here. I did add this wall here because I didn't like that you could see all the supports. And I like how this is kind of just, you know, peeking out over this wall. So I really like that. Um, but yeah, I added some trees here. I uh, need to do, you know, a bit more foliage around here. All of this a bit here have some cool lights here maybe i think that could be really cool um and then obviously we need a path that goes between these trees here and around here and then another layer of trees so that path is kind of hidden between the trees and uh yeah so there's plenty for me to do uh still i gotta do all of this and all of this i think like i mentioned in a previous video as well uh i just want to pebble this off because having a lot of foliage in here it wouldn't make a lot of sense for the maintenance guy or like the the gardeners to have to go and constantly trim it. Uh, plus, I don't think I want trees in there. I just want to have this mumble jumble uh, of, of supports, which I really like this wooden color. So we'll texture the ground, maybe, well, actually don't need to texture the ground. We'll add pebbles and then probably with the pebbles, because when you end the pebbles, I'll show you that. Unless you use terrain, like I've done here to kind of go over the pebbles, you get a really harsh uh, ending of it, like like this. First of all, this is a bit floating, but that's intentional. Um, but yeah, you get a harsh ending. So what I like to do is, like I did here, just have some bushes at the end, some foliage to kind of break it up and make that uh, transition from pebble to planko ground texture be a bit more smooth and seamless. So I think that's what I want to do. Uh, but I, I gotta keep chucking away at this because otherwise it's going to be one of those things I just leave and won't return to it for a long time. So I'm going to keep working on it. I want to finish this tonight. It's gotten a bit late already, but I want to finish this tonight. That would be an amazing accomplishment. So I have these two other areas to finish because this won't take that long down there. And this will probably take a bit of time. So I got to I got to I got to finish this, guys. So I'm going to put on the audiobook I'm currently listening to and just uh keep working ahead and I'm back so I played like another two hours almost well one and a half whatever 
Um, and yeah, I got some work done on the backstage here. So this is, I, I like building backstage. I would love to spend more time on it. I would love to make it more small and more uh, less planco, less generic theme park and more like cozy and give the option of it being kind of like a family driven park that's, you know, slowly expanded over the years. I would love to do that. But I, I keep, you know, circling back to this thought of we got to get done. We're like, it's fine. We're done. You know, that whole stamp, we got to put that on it. And that means it just becomes generic. And I think it's, it, it's fine. You know, at the end of the day, most people are gonna, you know, check out the actual park and then sure they might see oh there's some stuff over here let's go check it out oh that's nice <laughs> you know they might do that which is why i want to clean up everything uh i pebbled off this area here started pebbling a bit in here probably gonna do we have like a huge terrain difference here for some reason so gotta throw some foliage in here i suppose and then i don't know might do some rock work here or pebbles like we discussed but i just think the edge of the pebble here will be very weird, but I I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. But yeah, I uh, I also started this whole path. Uh, we're just gonna have it like as a this is sand, the texture sand, but that's to get the contrast between the dirt color um, because we just want it to be like a dirt road kind of thing. Um, but since we're using dirt as a ground texture, we can't really use dirt as well for the road, so we're using sand. Put in some generic street lamps, utilitarian kind of. Um, and yeah, I just started a path down here. I finished off all of this foliage here with the trees. I put in a lot of lots of trees that have been chopped down and some axes, hatchets, whatever. Uh, and yeah, I just think it, uh, it turned out very overgrown and probably over themed. But the whole park is kind of over themed, you know, I I don't know. I think it's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. It's fine. We're done. We gotta be done. <laughs> uh, I really love this ruin that mineral build. I think it, you know, it, it adds something to the area here, a bit to the store, the lore and yeah, I like it. So I'm going to head off to bed now cause I'm tired, but we still have some work here to do. I did manage to finish the road all the way here and all the trees. I will do that tomorrow, I think. And then this is almost done as well, which is really nice. Um, I don't know if we're, we'll probably just add some weeds in here, some foliage there as well. And I'm not going to do anything here because it, it's fine. We're done. Got a foliage up here as well. And yeah, I think this bit down here is pretty done as well. I uh, could maybe have a rock there, but I'm using the rock texture brush terrain brush so it kind of blends in really nice and seamlessly and uh yeah i think that works fine gosh i sound so tired guys i'm so sorry but um yeah i think we'll be able to finish this tomorrow hopefully which for you guys is like five seconds from now but you know what i mean um it's it's turning out great and it's fine we're done uh, people from pro nation will know that mantra and that is definitely something I'm adapting right now. But you know what? As long as we get this park done and uploaded, I am all for it. Had a little chat with uh, Pigeon tonight, and he wants to join in for the last episode when we show off the whole park and we talk about what we really like and what we probably would change if we had more time or if we could go back in and maybe, you know, discuss Planet Coaster 2 a bit and what his plan is for the for the game and maybe talk about my plans. Who knows? But... Anyways, I'm going to keep building tomorrow, but for you guys, I will see you in a few seconds. Hi, guys. So I'm back. It's a new day. I'm fresh. I'm awake and I'm chucking away again at the wooden coaster. And um, yeah, I did a little bit more. Uh, as you can see, I peppled off a large area here and I actually really quite like it. Uh, this is like towards the exit of the coaster. You come over this hill here. And then you get down here. I moved this bird a bit back, uh, the woodpecker, a bit back. So you see it a bit more after you break because before it was right here and you're still coming in with a lot of speed. So you don't really get a lot of time to look at it. So I feel like moving it down there helped hide the transfer track building as well, as well as just give it a bit more prominent feature. 
Um, but as you can see here, I fenced off the whole area here as well, which I think looks really well. Uh, it starts over there. I'll have to continue it a bit more and hide it in the trees or something. But I think with all the pebbles, it looks really nice and jank. And yeah, just added lots of foliage. That's basically what's mainly left is lots of foliage work um, to give the effect that I've started over here, which I really like. So you see, it's just this maintenance road here going across or around the coaster rather. And what I really like is these jank, super utilitarian uh, lampposts. If we switch to nighttime, you'll see what I mean. It's just, it's just such a vibe. Like, ah, uh, you don't want to walk here alone, do you? <laughs> but driving in a in a park vehicle, I mean, this is so jank and. And kind of spooky as well. I, I just love it. I was also debating doing a curb, but you know what? We're not going to do that. It is just backstage stuff. We just wanted it to be realistic enough that they could get, you know, stuff from the main entrance all the way down to the other coaster areas. So the path will end here. We had originally discussed doing all the way around, but considering the amount of work it takes, this will be good enough. Um, because they would be able to drive out here and then somewhat like go out here and then do go to this other backstage area over there so there's no need for us to do a whole perimeter road around the park at least in my opinion so unless Pidgey wants to do that I'm not going to do that but yeah let me uh work a bit more on this whole uh backstage pass and I still need to finish this area here as well not oh the fence is going crazy here I'm not super pleased with this again it's just I gotta give it the whole it's fine, we're done stamp and just be like, yeah. It's not going to be perfect. We've had this park for, I don't know, when did we start it? 2018, 19, it was at least before COVID. So it's been four or five years and it's not done. So at this point, we just gotta get it done. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next update. And I'm back again. And uh i think we're 95 ish percent done with the the wooden coaster so i cleaned up this area here the backstage area uh at the end of the the wooden coaster where we still have all of this we need to fix like i mentioned and uh again i just used two fences to kind of insinuate that this could be a gate that could open somehow i'm not gonna spend time making that you know actually work or whatever but it looks like a gate and yeah so it works <laughs> Uh, just w we just have a lot of foliage you guys know me I love the foliage um, but yeah just lots of foliage to to kind of cap off the whole area here and make it look like a service road and then I started adding just a bit of foliage around the fence as well you know the inevitable uh, weeds that will grow wherever you have other seeds nearby and, and whatnot so it's inevitable for them to have some kind of weeds um, then I place some of these cones and honestly, uh, the idea behind them is that, well, you know, the cones will make the driver see there's a, a light pole here, a lamppost, but honestly, it's also just to add some kind of color here because it was very much green and brown and gray colors. So, but overall, I think this turned out really good. It's just a service path. Made another entrance here as well to the coaster uh, so you can get underneath it in this section. And uh, yeah. I don't want to speed it up too fast because then we're just going to get motion sickness. But there's still a few gaps in the, the <laughs> foliage wall, the high vegetation that I have not covered in, but I will get that done. I'm trying to vary it, like uh, give it some variety with the rose. Uh, creeping rose uh, bushes or whatever they're called as well and uh, yeah I, I think this is as far as I got down here I need to do the under bushes here as well but I think that was a good chunk of it and I love how it's you know when you're in here you won't see that road out there I think that's perfect and it's very much theme, po uh, theme park ish theme park uh, coded if you will uh, what else uh, I just cleaned up everywhere underneath the coaster, made sure that uh, there's some elevation changes here. So obviously having mulch, or not mulch, but having pebbles going down a, uh, uh, what's it called, like a diagonal wall or diagonal hill like this would look really stupid because 
yeah, so I just foliaged it up with lots of bushes, um, cleaned up everywhere underneath the coaster. Uh, and yeah, it's like the whole coaster area is pretty much done now. It's just uh, pebbles, 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 pebbles. I did end up moving these out, not here, but here, because it just, it looked better. And, you know, when you're zooming out, I just, I just think it looks good, honestly. Like there's some brown like parts here, uh, and I really like this path here. I like it's a natural path instead of an actual road. I think that looks really good. But what I'm going to work on now before ending the video is I want to finish this building here uh, and foliage it up there, I think. And then if we can somehow manage to foli up the foliage up, <laughs> if we can finish the foliage around here just so we can get down here because then this whole stuff is done because that's the last thing I need to show you guys for now. I finished the queue. So Pigeon had done a great job already with the queue, but there's lots of gaps still uh, in between, you know, and we do not like the in-game curbs. We like to do our own. So yeah, I just took most of his elements, spread them out, added some extra foliage, a lot of foliage, you know me. Um, and yeah, I put some, uh, some lamps on the on the on the lamp post he had already made these posts but there weren't any lamps on it so just added some lamps but yeah for now let me just finish up the last bit of this uh build and then we'll check out the final result all right guys i am back again sorry just have to move the mic stand here a bit and it's a bit squeaky anyways i'm back and we are back in the last update for this episode because it's quite a long episode already but i would say we're done with the wooden coaster um I managed to finish up this little backstage building here. Nothing fancy. Just brought over some elements from some different backstage building. You don't have to reinvent the wheel when it comes to backstage buildings, honestly. Um, as long as this looks, you know, utilitarian, people are like, oh yeah, that looks good. We don't really have to discuss why there's a generator there or whatever that's supposed to be. Who cares? Um, but yeah, this whole path here behind the coaster is basically done. I mean, it is done. Um, we've already seen it, so let's just fly a bit down here, going a bit fast, Oof, very fast. So the whole transfer track building is done, the whole path here is done up until around here where I need to just fill up with a few bushes, but I figured, yeah, I'm not gonna bother you guys with that as well, it's here. Um, and then we connected it up here to this part, so I just need to do a little bit of foliage here, trees here, and it's done. Um, but I just wanted to real quick take this opportunity to show off what Pigeon has been working on. He has connected a road here to his little transfer track building down here by the by the spinning coaster. And I think it looks good. I actually like this. I might want to have to reuse those somewhere else. He obviously haven't seen this episode yet. <laughs> uh, so he hasn't heard me talk about how I don't want us to have a path going around here. So I will most likely delete this just because... I don't think it's necessary. We have this other way. Sorry, just getting a notification. Um, and then Pitchin have built an extra add-on building here to my building. I built all of this, as you know. And then Pitchin have added this cute little building, and I love it. And then we kind of just need to do something with this, probably just two or three windows, and be like, yeah, done. Not sure how the backstage area looks. Oh, yeah, I managed to clean up mine pretty nice. So I love that addition he did there. It's very simple, but it fits so well and just caps off this whole, I don't know, old German fairy tale village street really well, I think. Um, I love it. It's turning out so cute. And then, did he do more? Wait, let's go over see. He actually fixed the backside of a building. Oh, I was scared there for a second. I thought that wasn't finished, but it is. Uh, apparently, we didn't have a backside to this building, but he went in and fixed it just got to cover it up with a few bushes so that's good oh pigeon pigeon oh no he did it perfectly <laughs> and then he just fixed up these places here all of this he's fixed as well because if for some reason we didn't have all these whatever here and it looks like he dressed up this whole area here as well by the train and yeah it's the whole we're done it's fine stamp and i love it it's good now, one thing I want to quickly talk about is what I want to work on in the next episode. I think I want to finish up this whole area here. Pigeon have built this station and it's really good looking, but 
it needs a bit of clutter. Well, to be honest, he actually already added clutter. So I think the station is fine. It does the job at least. Um, but the whole area here, uh, oh, I'm getting severe lag spikes now in the park and it's after I added all of those trees over here. I don't know, probably 500 trees. Since I added that, it's just become very laggy in the park and yeah, kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, my boyfriend, he has a really nice PC. So when I do the final tour through the park, I might just jump on his PC because it's a lot better than mine, just so we get better frame rates at least. But yeah, I want to tackle this whole area here in the next episode. This and then, you know, all of this here, the queue line, all of it basically. Um, he tried a test pigeon with a lot of people in here and apparently they get really stuck on this path here uh, because they're all trying to queue into this coaster and, you know, it's not a very long queue. So I'm not sure if there's anything we can do about that. I was considering, um, oh wow, it's really laggy actually. That's crazy. I was considering adding another path going up here just to maybe have some of them go another way if it's full there, you know, like if, it's, if this path is filled. But we'll have to look at that in the next episode. But yeah, I brought this uh, cover over from another park I was working on before starting small park. And I just figured it's a nice cover, like a picnic cover, whatever. Let's try and use it in here. And this whole area still needs to be done. So I figured let's have that here. Maybe I can even move it over here. Do um, do fake mulch, uh, mulch on uh, pebbles and then have another little picnic area here. Just a pretend picnic area. I think that could be nice as well. Sorry, I live right next to an, an, a military air station, like what's it called, airport, flight station, I don't know. And they're making lots of noises right now with their planes. I'm sorry if you can hear that. Um, but yeah, lots of foliage and just wrap up this whole thing. But uh, that was at least this episode for now. I'm glad you guys tuned in. And if you watched all the way here, thank you so much. I'd love if you'd leave a comment about how you think the wooden coaster turned out. I like my favorite part is definitely this is backstage road. I think it's perfect and it's hidden from view, but it's there and yeah, I just love it. And then of course, minerals, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, ruins, which I'm so glad actually gets to be in a project that gets finished. No offense, mineral. <laughs> no, but I think they're just they're really cute and perfect. So I'm glad they get to uh, get to shine a bit these ruins. But uh, yeah, I'll include a uh, POV for you guys so you can see how it all looks now that uh, now that everything is done. But thanks for watching and feel free to drop a comment, like, subscribe if you haven't, you know, all that YouTube bullshit stuff. Sorry, I don't know why I swore there, but all that YouTube stuff. And until next time, take care. Bye.